to. Now, Larry Nichols, who I really appreciate coming on on short notice, uh, is about to join us. Larry Nichols, we're trying to get connected with him via Skype right now with huge news on a campaign 2016. Briefly, we have a lot of new, very important items at InfoWarsStore.com. And one of them has free shipping and 10% off of promo code WATER. And that is the all-new ProPure Shower Filter, the Promax, four-stage, fast-flowing, cuts out or removes 200 contaminants, VOCs, pesticides, fluoride, uh, you name it, glyphosate, you know, the Roundup. Folks, if you're not doing this, you breathe it, you absorb it through your skin. It's just as important as filtering your water that you drink. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com. Now, continuing, you can also call and say promo code WATER and get 10% off and free shipping. Survival Shield X2, the incredible nascent iodine, the good halogen that's helped me lose so much weight, have so much more energy, help detoxify. A lot of folks have a detoxification effect, though, uh, unfortunately, about a month into it or less. Uh, but again, then it feels great afterwards. That's what most folks say. But 15% uh, off on that and 15% off super male or female vitality. Super female vitality is back after being sold out for several months, InfoWarsLife.com. We also have a new We Will Never Surrender Our Guns t-shirt. And without your purchase of these products, we can't continue, we can't operate, and we can't also be a platform for all these other amazing activists and folks that are taking action. Now, Larry Nichols, the big Clinton insider. The guy that was a Green Beret, you name it, special government operations. Of course, then they didn't hire him. He runs their campaigns, gets him in the governor's office, member of the Dixie Mafia, later learns that the heads of the Dixie Mafia run the Clintons. And the way the Mafia works, he didn't even know who the heads were. That's how this stuff really works. And, of course, they were CIA right out of college. That's been declassified. Now, the question is, will Biden come in? Now, Trump today, and I have the article, I'll pull it out is basically saying exactly what Larry Nichols said three months ago here on the air. Trump, Biden would run if Clinton indicted and calls him a ghost candidate. That's out of MSNBC and Politico. But he's got inside baseball from his big political contacts on where the movement is right now. Larry Nichols, thank you for coming on, my friend. You look good. I know you've been battling illness, but I tell you, you look better than you looked a few months ago. So I hope folks' prayers are working out there. Thank you for coming on. With you us. bet. Well, thank you. You know, Alex, it's heading up just like we said, you know, just like we've talked about, buddy. Let me tell you the inside scoop. Biden and uh, Elizabeth Warren, they're ready. They've got their staff set up. They're, they're ready to go now. But here's the problem, Alex. Hillary. Hillary is putting the pressure on them. They indict her. And Alex, she's going to unload on everybody and has made it quite plain. You indict me and every secret in Washington will be revealed. I will not go down alone. And every member of Congress, both Republican and Democrat, the Senate, they're scared to death. They're begging Obama, don't. And of course, Obama's got his agenda. And... Uh, it's the battle. It's the battle. Now, I know everybody, Alex, tells you, well, Hillary's got to be indicted, got to be indicted. Let me tell you, she gets indicted. It's over. Washington, as we know it, will be over. And the people there know it. Justice know be it. done. Justice be done. May the heavens fall because the open, naked corruption unprecedented and her not getting in trouble is causing a giant awakening. So, any way you look at it, this is a no-win situation. What do you expect the establishment to do? What's the current movement? What direction are they going in? Well, there's absolutely uh, – I got that just, just, just this morning. People, the high-ups in the Democratic Party are calling me, my God, what are we going to do? Republican high-ups are calling me, my God, what are we going to do? Let me tell you, everybody is frozen. Everyone's frozen, Alex. Hillary has got that city under fear. It, it's under the greatest terrorist attack that's ever been known to Washington, D.C. She has them. And so people in America are wondering, well, wait a minute. With all this stuff that's so obvious, how can you not indict her? 
And so there's pressure from that angle. The Republican Party, to be quite honest, the reason there's not a lot of stuff happening, you know, between Trump, Cruz and the, the establishment and the Republican Party, everybody, quite honestly, is sitting tight, but puckered. What is going to happen? And so I'm telling you, they're not going to indict Hillary. They're not going to indict her because if they do, she is going to reveal everything about every one of them. And well, as you know, so, a lot of former federal prosecutors and others are coming out saying the word is an FBI indictment is imminent in the next 40 to 50 days. Is that just smoke and mirrors? That's just well, that's just wishful thinking. There's a lot of people that think they know this and they think they know that. And there's no doubt that there's FBI guys. Alex, you know, they're not bad. They're not all bad. They want to indict her. But they can't. You see, you can't end that Hillary unless you get Loretta Lynch to do it. Loretta Lynch is not going to do it unless Obama tells her. And now, what about Biden? Right. You you said you talked to some big insiders, and they've even right. lined up who they plan to run mm -hmm. with him. Right. Biden and Elizabeth Warren, that's what they think will be the relief team, the dream team. If Hillary goes down, they can bring him in. Problem is... Uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz or whatever her name is, she's she's fighting hard. They've even changed the rules. Now they're going to have another debate. Everybody's working to try to get Hillary back on track because they're scared to death. I'm telling you, this is this is this is big league. This is big time. Alex. Now, six Never months ago, you were like saying this. we got to take out Hillary politically, but you warned mm -hmm. Obama may try to put his dynasty in uh, of uh, Biden. That's now admitted. So, That's right. uh, but again, I mean, they're, they're part of the same structure, but two different heads, I would say. In your gut, which way is this leaning? Or are you saying right now it's a stalemate? It's a stalemate, but I'm just telling you right now, Hillary will not be indicted. They will do everything they can to try to cover it up. They'll do everything they can to try to rebuild her campaign. And remember, a lot of this is going to work out to Hillary's favor in the general election because come general election time, when she wins, it's all going to be old news. And she's going to talk about, Alex, how the right wing white guy conspiracy, how it tried to bring charges against her, how they've done everything to destroy her. And she still made it like the phoenix rising up from the ashes. She made it. And here she comes. Now, I will say this. The only one that can beat Hillary, Alex, the only one, is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. He's the only one that will be able to mix it up with Hillary. Well, Roger Stone launched the operations to go after the uh, rape and abuse of women. It seems to be working quite nicely mm -hmm. and is damaging her with women. It is. It won't, it won't stop her. It won't stop her. Alex, remember, this whole election is about people that are committed that you could you could catch Hillary raping women herself right on TV, and there are people that are going to vote for her. They're not going to vote against her. Then you've got the people that would rather vote for the devil himself than to vote for a Republican, and then you've got the people that would rather do whatever than vote for Donald Trump. So you've got this. This is the showdown, Alex. This is the, this is the election that our country's up for grabs right now. And that's why we've got to get in. We, the average American, and I'll say it, the average American white guy, you know, we're being excluded from the whole thing. You know, we're, we're the dinosaur. We're the ones that are the endangered species. Sure, it's the broken coalition strategy that you use to get them into the gubernatorial right. office. They've now done where the minorities were walled off before and they played politics. Now it's the other way around. And people are saying, good, get the old white guy. It's not going to screw the white guy over. It's a bunch of rich white guys offshore running the whole scam. They That's just right. don't want middle class people, period, that happen to be a lot of them white, to have a say anymore. That's right. I mean, they, they want us out of the picture, Alex. Remember what I told you years They want ago, the Bill. evil Western culture that, 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 that's here. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, of a free market and profit gone. They want a monopoly now, and they're and they're and they're getting ready to do it. That's right. So you know, guys, please engage this time. This will be, and I think you see, Alex, everything I've warned about coming to pass, just like a bolt of lightning. Everything please. is is. Everybody now is saying this is it. Everybody can feel it. They can mm -hmm. see it. Uh, the planets are aligning. What about a wild car? She looks, you know, ill. She looks old. Uh, and then she looks like she's on well, drugs once she's at the debates. Uh, I mean, you know, you know, maybe God will intercede here, and you know, she'll. Uh, 
Kill, kill. I'm working. I'm working with a story that I probably shouldn't tell, so I won't. That the National Enquirer is fixing to do a story coming out about Hillary's mental capacity and whether or not she is mentally ill. So that'll be coming out. Now, of course, and let me stop you. Twice the in the last Enquirer. six months, you said the Enquirer is doing a story on this, and then it comes out. Obviously, right. you're talking to them. So since you said it, tell us. They're looking at her mental capacity. Right. They are. They really are. She's got health issues and they're going back and asking me and others that have known her since the beginning. What what is it about Hillary? And Hillary Alex has had a mental issue since day one. She can't. She does not like people. She is an animal. She's everything I've told you she is. And it is a mental problem. And that's what's causing her trouble running this election, to be quite honest. You, you can't make her a people person. You just can't do it. And so that's where we're at. But there's going to be stories about that. But remember, none of these things are going to hurt Hillary. None. I'm sorry. Well, then none what of, will stop her? That way. What will stop her? And, and, and how can Trump crush her? What will stop her is me. They know it. I know it. What will help is Donald Trump. You see, Donald Trump can save the nation. Donald Trump can make a part of his campaign, which I think he will or can. And that is to issue the power back to the states. I think if Donald Trump gets in and runs that as his platform, he has a chance of He'd winning. He'd be like and George Washington when they wanted to make him king, refusing. If he returned the republic, returned the power to the states, said let's let's you know get rid of the Seventeenth Amendment where the senators aren't part of the states. If he did that, he'd be George Washington part two. He he would. And you're just going to have to leave Hillary to me. You know, it's like I've told you for 20 years, Alex, this is the feature match between me and the bitch. And all I can say is I'll be there. I'll be there when it's time. The main thing I've got to do right now, guys, and I'm telling you, and you see the complexity now, Alex, of the, of the Obama, the Hillary, the Washington, how it's all entangled. Right now, Hillary and Bill, the power they have is stopping Obama from triggering a crisis that puts us under provisional government, which makes him king. We've got to get through that period, which is what we're doing right now. And then it'll be up to us. And then what I have, and you know what I have, will come out. Well, I don't want to get killed by a black ops team. I don't know specifically what you got. <laughs> you don't I don't know, know all of it, right. I know you have a bunch of dirt on her, and, and, and you've been a source of a lot of it over the years coming out. And, and, and I guess you're still alive the way she is. I guess you've got it in safe places, or why are you still alive? Well, I'm still alive because they know. They know that I've got it stashed away in five places. Anything happens to me, it comes out instantly. And the fact that something happens to me if I die of this unique accident, arc inside, if you will, it'll give credence. Well, Larry, you, sure, you are the guy behind the Clinton Chronicles, all of it, for folks that are politically ignorant and don't know who you are. You are a very important person. And I know you're not bluffing about this, uh, but you might be overestimating because who, who knows how powerful any of us are. And the corruption today, right. like you said, she could be raping kids on the White House lawn. She wouldn't get in trouble for it with her mentally ill cult followers. But, you know, you've said in interviews, I know you were a Green Beret. I know you work for the Clintons, high level, you know, that you particularly have, uh, you know, were a guy that took care of things for him. Is that the dirt? Part of it, yes. I, I'm just going to tell you. So everything. you know where dead bodies are buried? You bet. And I know this. I know everything is going to key around something called Vince Foster. There is something about the Vince Foster investigation that will put Hillary down. Now, don't remember what I've told you. If I had her pulling the trigger for Vince Foster, it's not going to get her indicted, right? If they're not going to indict her over... This email scandal, they're not going to indict her over that. But there's a trick I know. Remember, Alex, I helped build the system that's getting them elected, keeping them elected. I helped build that thing. I helped design that thing. And there's things I can do. Remember, hey, got Bill Clinton impeached. And it was much harder then because nobody knew who I was. Think about, Alex, where you and I came from back in those days. I mean, this is tough. But it's not impossible like that was. Well, back then, nobody knew who David Shippers was or anything, and Drudge was helping get the word out uh, right. without Drudge and, and the Western Journalism Center and you and a few others. Now, people are a lot more, I'd say a thousand That's times right. more awake. That's really got to threaten the system. Even if, 
In closing, I know you are fighting cancer. You don't want folks to know about it. They've destroyed you financially. You've also had some dirty tricks done to you lately. I'm yeah. not going to get into it all. But you got a PayPal account for folks that want to help you with your medical bills to keep you alive. Uh, let's put that on screen. It's PayPal.